the body like a pro boxer. Look at that combo. Looking for the guillotine choke here. Looks like he's got it pretty deep. And he taps out Anthony. Are they looking to fire off any second? He always had a success in his punches. I don't know why he's already won. He's a body shot. This fight could be over, and that's it. His own takedown gets it. After the first week of taking it, uh, maybe about a week and a half, I started to see, really see the difference. Is uh, my weight just came down real fast, and then I was. I actually had to eat more, like I said, to bring myself back up to 153, 154, because that's my performance weight. So I make weight at 135, put all the water weight back on, and I fight. I get in the cage at about 153. So during this whole camp, which was a whole camp because the fight only got canceled a couple of weeks ago, um, during the whole camp, I was just constantly being able to eat almost whatever I wanted. Of course, I was eating healthy and clean. You know, I'm not eating, going out and eating McDonald's eating clean but I was able to eat like good pasta I was able to eat rice I was able to like do these things and eat like really how you should be eating when you're exerting the kind of energy and you're exerting what 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 we go through as athletes you know so that was just a huge plus I was wasn't have my diet was not an issue at all just able to eat three meals a day and that was just a blessing right there because man like not not being able to get in the the, the calories and the carbs you need is tough and like I said about the energy thing, it caused me to have higher energy too. But the thing is, during, even in the week when I was dieting really hard uh, and still taking the supplement, my energy was still high. My energy was higher throughout this camp than it's ever been. Uh, I've, I've been able to push um, my sparring rounds. Just my heart rate can get, was being able to, was pushing incredibly high, uh, higher than higher than I've had, so record highs, and I was able to bring my heart rate down between rounds incredibly fast, right back down to resting heart rate real fast so I'm ready for the next round again. Um, so my recovery in between rounds and during training sessions was just through the roof. I've never, I've never witnessed something like that. And that's when I talked to you, Jamie, and I was like, man, uh, this stuff, you, this stuff is good stuff. I, I was like, kind of just taking it at first, like, yeah, you got, you know, I love you guys. I'm gonna take it, just see, see what this stuff's all about. Yeah. But now I'm a huge, big time believer in it, and I'm gonna use this stuff every camp, along with the weight and the energy and the recovery during sparring and in between rounds. Uh, my recovery from soreness and just bumps and bruises in general was, I would say, at least about half, half of the time, cut in half. Um, for example. After a really hard leg day, we do strength and conditioning, and I'm pretty sure my coach is trying to kill me sometimes within the rule set. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> my, like the, a, a legness, like a really sore leg day that would probably last maybe like four or five days of just can't walk straight, that would be, able to be cut in half to about two days. Um, so the recovery from sore muscles and bumps and bruises was just incredibly – fast like way faster than anything and i'm and obviously i'm older than this fight than i ever was in my past fights <laughs> so you think my recovery wouldn't be faster you think it'd be slowing down you know i'm now i'm 31 years old so um that, that's not the case at all i actually feel like i have more energy and recover faster than i ever have and it's not it's not that i feel that way it's it's i mean my numbers with my heart rate and my my recovery the numbers don't lie and all, all the things is these are all these all my stats are all tracked during camp. So I track my, my calories I was able to burn on the Airdyne bike and the, my recovery time during rounds. And it's just, there's no way I'm going to go through another camp not using this. And another thing I was really sketched out about when I first started taking this stuff, I was like, I don't know, Jamie. I don't know, man. The testing, like, the testing right? Yeah. I get really strict <laughs> testing. These guys knock on my door at 6 a.m. They wait for me outside the gym. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, yeah. The UFC is tested under USADA, which are the same, the same uh, uh, drug testing and um, doping testing that they go through in the Olympics. So it's very, it's the strictest testing pool in, um, in in all sports. These guys can literally show up whenever they want. You got to have a schedule. They got you. They got to know where you are every day and, and all parts of the day, basically. Um, but yeah, so I was I was like, man, I don't know if I can take this stuff. I don't know if this is cleared by USADA. 
and I've been tested uh, twice since I've been taking it, and I'm good to go, man. I'm, I'm all clear. It's actually NSF approved, and it's on the BSCG website as well, which are two of the main sources for the um, the testing. Um, so once they're on there, you're, you're pretty much good to go. Um, but yeah, I can't say enough.